All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, what I want to do is I'm going to show you guys, and talk to you, and tell you, explain how to derate conductors. Now, that is any current carrying conductor. It's super important. You need to learn it. Uh, when I first started, I just went with what everybody said, and as I progressed, I thought, is this right? Well, now I know, obviously from years' experience, that that was not right. However, I'm going to teach you guys the right way to do it. Super easy, super simple. It's right in the code book, so if you have the code book, by all means, you can do this. Now, I am still practicing on a 2005 code book. That's not the code we're in in the county I'm in, but that's the code book I have. Since 2010, I basically have been an industrial electrician and I don't really have any use for any code book. Now, I say that, but I work with a couple contractors on the side and I actually do use the code book pretty religiously. Most of the things that I use has not changed, so I'm pretty aware of the code and how to use it. So, let me jump in here real quick, make this video as quick as possible, show you guys how to derate current carrying conductors. Super easy. If you got a code book, definitely follow along with me and I'll write everything on the board here so you can see. Let's get started. This is the two codes that we're gonna be referencing now. Uh, I have been told before that my code book is a little wrong, don't know why. I, have, I do not have a newer updated code, but I'm pretty sure that this is much the same. 31016 is going to tell you what amperage the wire is. Now, if it's a 12, it's 20. If it's a 14, it's 15. If it's a 10, it's 30. So on and so forth. What we need to do here is realize that these are the two code references that we need to make sure that we know, okay? This 31016 is for the amps and the wire size. This 31015B2 tells you how many current carrying conductors you have to start derating for. So between four and six, it has to be 80%. Seven to nine, 70, 10 through 20, which is 50. Now, what does all that mean? All right, so we're gonna be working with 10 THHN. Now, if you see in the code book, it does say it has a 10, a 12, and a 14, and it has a little asterisk beside of it. And it references you to go back to uh, a different part of the code, which is 244D. And that tells you that basically 12 gauge wire is good for 20, 14 is good for 15, and 10 is good for 30. So that's what we're sticking with. You need to make sure you know what insulation you're working with. For me, I'm working with 10, so this is what we have, 10 THHN. For our very first example, we're gonna say that we have five. So we have five 10 THHN. All right. And we know that five is, or 10 gauges worth 30 amps. All right, and we know that we have five of them. This is the quantity, okay? So we have to look up here and then we're in between four and six, so we have to go 80%. So we will say 80%. We'll turn that into a math equation. 30 times 0.80 equals 24. So that's the max with five wires in that we can get out of 10 gauge wire. All right, so that we know that that's how much we'll be derated for. So if we definitely need 30 amps, we're only gonna get 24 out of it. So we would have to bump up the wire size. All right, let's go, let's do a little bit more. Let's, let's go one step further with this. All right, we'll go ahead and erase all this. So now let's say we have 11 10 gauge wires in there. So we have 11 10 gauge T H H N wires in there, okay? And we know it equals 30 amps. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to go up here and we have to look. So now we'll make this into a math equation, all right? So we know that 10 gauge is good for 30 amps. So 30 amps, that's that, and there's 11 of them, which is at 50 amps. So it's 0 0.50 equals 15. So now if we need 30 amps over there, we're only gonna be able to get 15. So that right there tells you that you're gonna have to bump up your wire size to whatever it takes to get to 30. Now, we're not gonna go into that right now, but I'm just showing you guys basically what you need to do, okay? You're only gonna get 30 or 15 amps if you have 11 wires and a con. So I hope that clarified a few things and it made you understand that you can't just put X amount of wires in a conduit. I mean, I remember me pulling wires like three full boats, pulling it long distances, you know, probably longer than what needed to be, probably needed a uh, voltage drop, which that's gonna be a, a video coming very shortly. And I asked the guy, you know, 
is this right? Because to me, I mean, I was always inquisitive. I was always asking that next question. Is it right? Guys, don't be afraid to ask questions. If you're working with a journeyman or master electrician, which I've worked with some master electricians before, and they're telling you, well, just do it because I'm telling you. Well, sometimes when they do that, you got to say, this mug don't know what he's talking about because I've worked with many masters that didn't know their ass from the hole in the ground. And I'm going to tell you what, they knew some things to get them by, but I don't even know how they got their card. And to me, that's just shitty work. If they can't take the time to say, hey, this is how it is. Now, maybe they don't know that math. Maybe they just know in their head, hey, you know, you got to do this, blah, blah, blah. And that's fine if that's what they know. But this is the code. That's that right there. That right there is the code. I mean, you can show them. Here it is. Like it or not, that's that's what it is, you know. Now, most of them won't change their mind because they're always hard hit or set in their ways. But if they're wrong, they're wrong. But good thing about it is when they go home that night, they'll be like, man, that son of a bitch knew something. And then next time they go do something, in their head, they'll be thinking, I'm going to do it the right way next time, which they should have done the first time. You should go back and fix it. Anyway, all right, guys, if you, you, know, if you have a question, don't be afraid to ask because the only question is stupid is one you're not asking. That's the way I always perceive it. So, you know, I ask many, many, many questions. And guys, I don't know everything, and I still ask questions all the freaking time. So, like I said, that's the code. Guys, uh, if you have any questions, any kinds of uh, videos that you want me to do, talk about, uh, dig into a little bit deeper, drop me a comment down below. Make sure you like this video, first of all. Subscribe, and uh, God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.